everybody, this is Epic Cloud Gem, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be telling you guys some tips for battle mode for Minecraft console edition. So I'm just gonna jump straight into it, actually, first. Um, that intro is not going to be permanent, that is just to show what my intro will be kind of like. I'm going to make a better version of it, but... You know, that's what I have for now. I'm just gonna throw it in here and, like, see what you guys think. Ignore the quality, just, like, the animation is what matters. So look at that. Please ignore the quality of it. I can't do anything about that for now, but I will soon. So anyway, we'll get straight into it now. So, whenever you get into a game, the timer's ticking down. The first thing I would uh, recommend is to just be ready. The timer will tick five times before you can go. I recommend counting out the ticks and when you get to five immediately start running and you'll get like off your pedestal before like most people I think unless they know about it too but like I find that I'm usually one of the first ones to the middle chests but anyway after you leave the cornucopia if you don't have a weapon your first priority is to get one. If you don't have a good weapon, you're not going to win. You know, unless everyone, anyone else has no weapons, but, you know, that's very unlikely, so, yeah. The next thing you want to do after getting weapons is to get decent gear. What I'd recommend going for is at least full chain before you start going into the center, which is the next tip, really. Once you have good gear and a good weapon, you might want to head to the cornucopia, aka the center, and start looting that, but that's very risky because that's where everyone wants to go and you're just going to have to watch out for people sneaking up on you there. It's happened to me many times, but if you can stay there and hold it, you'll get a lot of good stuff very quickly. And yeah, the next thing I want to talk about is that just remember that even if you have like the best gear in the game, at that moment, you're not invincible, You people can still kill you quite easily, like, just don't, don't let your guard down if you have good stuff, because it's not a good idea, people can surprise you easily, and just, yeah, it's happened, and yeah, I cry. Anyway, the next thing, fire aspect tools are overpowered AF, use them. If you don't get a stone sword or like a stone or a iron pick, what I'd recommend doing is if you just have a regular rep weapon, say like a wood sword, and then you have say fire aspect hoe, I would put them side by side in your inventory. Use the hoe first to set them on fire, then follow it up with the sword. When they stop burning, use the hoe once and then use the sword and so on until they're dead. This is a good strategy because the fire disorientates people and makes it harder for them to be or harder for them to hit you and it lets you get a lot of hits off on them very easily. So it's a good strategy. I've used it a couple times. It really does work. So yeah. Next thing is if someone has like say full iron and stone sword you have like wooden sword and like full chain you can still win that fight if you just sneak up behind them what i'd recommend doing is uh trying to get up behind them or if they're in a chest just run straight and start whacking them because if they're in a chest they're not going to be able to do anything for a few seconds so that is your chance to get some good damage off before they can even, like, pick up their sword, really. So this this is a good strategy. I use it a lot because, like, just think if they have, like, half their health down already and you have, still have full, you're probably more likely to win that fight. And, you know, it's just a really good thing to do. And, yeah. The last thing that I want to mention is that there are more than one way, there is more than one way to win a fight. 
You could PvP them until they're dead, but there's also other methods, such as knocking them off cliffs, which is pretty easy. Maybe make them walk backwards into lava. It doesn't happen often, but it can happen. And, you know, there's another method. Maybe, like, if they're low on health, and you're also low on health, maybe you can set them on fire and run away. So that, that'll be constantly bringing their health down. And, you know, if they're low enough, they will die because fire hits through armor. So, yeah, just remember, there's multiple ways to win a fight. You don't need to just straight up, like, beat on their armor until they're dead. Just, you know, try to fuse the surroundings to your advantage. If you're beside a cliff, knock them off if you can. If you're beside lava, try to knock them into the lava. You know, there's... You don't need to have, like, this epic pvp skill that yeah although i i'm I, i'm okay i'm not that bad but like most of the time the sneaking up on them is what gives me the win and then like okay i lost my train of thought damn it basically I'm, i might knock them off a cliff and then like go down a safe way to get at them again also, um, what I'd recommend, um, if you're, if they're far away, maybe try to hit them with your bow, and if it's a flame bow, it'll do a lot of damage. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, I guess. I mean, I don't have very much else to say, so, I guess, uh, like and subscribe if you like these tips, or if they've helped you, or etc, etc, and subscribe for more content of this nature, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.